Hey guys, it's Brendan Noble, uh, aka Mr. Better Late Than Never, um, and I'm about to show you some tools that uh, I've put together for you to help increase conversions on your sites. Uh, affiliate sites, e-commerce sites, doesn't really matter what type of sites are. If you've got people that need to buy or sign up or click here, do that, then uh, these are going to help you out. So. Uh, just real quick, these are based off a set of tools that I've been working with and developing and testing for uh, quite a few months, probably over a year. Time flies when you're having fun. But um, basically, I packaged them all up and uh, made them really easy to use and uh, made them work for WordPress. So this is what we're looking at. Let's jump right in. I'm going to show you the first tier of the uh, three-tier tool set here and this is the cartel bar now as you load a page um, you can set this on any page or post this beautiful animation happens with the countdown on it and you can see these numbers flipping away as the as the countdown continues and as you can see this is basically an example but I've got a, a little banner add in here as well as some text and um, you can pretty much put anything you want in here you can set this timer how you want and it's going to slide out of view in just a moment just as beautifully as it entered and this is really easy to set up now <clears throat> I'm logged in as an admin so I can continue to refresh the page to view it uh, it usually is controlled by cookies so people won't see your bar over and over and over and over otherwise it would lose its effectiveness and it would be annoying but basically the power of this bar it, versus a standard banner ad is that people have to click on this if they're even halfway curious what the offer is because it's going to go away and they don't know if it's gonna come back so I mean really the one of the first things I, I uh, encountered and came across this idea was something very similar It was a timed out type of banner and I said you know uh, this site that I'm on I, I really like the stuff that I, I use this site for and this is an offer that's a special offer with one of their partners and it's telling me that I've got 15 seconds left and it's counting down and uh, I should probably just go ahead and click this so that I don't not have the option to click it again later and um, I did and it works uh, it's it's pretty cool I started using it in lots of different areas uh, e-commerce it's very effective in affiliate marketing very effective in and um, you know it, it's really really good uh, little tool now it wouldn't be near as awesome if it wasn't so darn easy to use okay so basically um, when you want to add the bar to a post all you do is or a page you load up the page you've got the cartel bar meta box here and we've built a uh, cartel bar already which is the one you just viewed and it is called uh, example for video I believe so all you have to do to add it to that page is go to bar selection click example for video update view the page and now you've uh, you've got it on that page so it's really that easy to add it once you've built it super easy now building it is just as easy well not quite you have to use your brain a little bit but let's jump over to the edit screen for the cartel bar as you can see it works right inside the editor I've built this completely one-off custom little uh, bounding box to kinda help you uh, get really predictable results when you're working with this bar so you know what kind of area you're working with and um, no one else does this okay as a matter of fact uh, it took me about 15 revisions before I came up with a method that I was really happy with but I wanted you to be able to see exactly what you were doing before you committed to anything so in addition to that I also made it so that you can actually preview the bar right on the edit screen page without ever having to leave or set it live anywhere on your site so as you can see shows up right here <clears throat> you can go in change anything you want at any time including the background color the default text color which was you know this is all default text color set to white I came in here and selected this text right here and set it to black like this okay and that's all I had to do um, so it's it's really easy to use just like building a post super easy you've done it a hundred oh maybe thousand times okay um, so what's even better about this is that it's so easy to use that it makes it incredibly versatile um, you can actually have the same offer on the same bar uh, and let's say you know what it's uh, 
It's Halloween time. Okay, so all we got to do now, go here, give it a nice orange color, give the default text to black, we'll hit update, <clears throat> we'll preview that, and now we've got a Halloween themed bar just like that, okay, super, super easy. Um, Valentine's Day, okay. Come on, where's let's get a nice soft pink. There we go. Let's change this to uh, let's just do white. That should, man, yeah, that might clash a little bit. Let's do. Uh, let's just do a white. How's that? All right. Update. <clears throat> preview and there you go you've got a Valentine's Day theme bar so in other words you can change everything really fast you already know how to set up a bar because you already know how to set up a post so very easy very simple and uh, a lot of fun to use and um, that's pretty much pretty much all I can say there there's there's not really words to explain all the things you can do with this very easily um, so there you have that now you can also set the timer and you can also set the delay so you can go up to 60 seconds on the countdown and on the delay you can do uh, up to uh, well really as long as you want uh, I usually would suggest something like five seconds um, that way the user can engage with the content on your site the bar pops up breaks that engagement shifts it straight to that and really gets those click-throughs um, I don't know why, you know, when I when I made this, I made it for click-through rates, um, but it actually has a incredibly high conversion rate too for some reason. So there you have it. I, everything I've tested on across the board has a much higher uh, conversion rate than any other type of on-page advertising that I've done. So um, there you have that. Now on to part two. So part two is what I like to call the pressurizer and it is a tool for building extreme urgency and really increasing conversion rates on any page or post where you're basically giving them a special offer a coupon code a hey you know uh, put your email address in I'll send you this free file but you time them down and um, you can keep them from coming back to the page if you want so I'm just gonna show you that real quick now I didn't build a well actually I did build a, a uh, a post that already has it in it and you know what I'll just now you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna show you a new page I'm gonna show you how fast it is to set this up okay so we'll go to a new page brand new I'm gonna add it right now alright there we go new page never seen and we'll just put some uh, random content in here for the page so there's something there for, to look at and all we have to do now to add the pressurizer, which you haven't seen yet, you're going to see it for the first time in just a moment, uh, is this. Click Enable Pressurizer. We're going to, let's just leave it at 30 seconds. Well, actually, let's do 45 because there's something I want to show you that happens if we, uh, when we count down to 30 seconds. And uh, for the timeout URL, this is going to be your downsell or no thanks URL. So basically, wherever you want to send them, if they decide not to take your offer, this is where you're going to send them. A lot of times, you can use your uh, your no thanks URL from JVZ or Warrior Plus, and it will send them on to the next product in your funnel. Or uh, or basically, if you're not doing a JVZ product or Warrior Plus product, and you're doing a coupon code or or get it on an e-commerce site or something like that, take them wherever you would like and that's fully up to you so let's say let's take us to yahoo.com if we don't take the offer and let's take us to paypal.com if we do take the offer this is obviously just an example you wouldn't actually want to use these um, <laughs> but if uh, for your checkout payment URL what you want to put there is the um, is the actual checkout page from your buy button so whatever your buy button links to um, where they'll go in and, and actually pay you that's what you put there okay and we're going to enable the second chance box which 
will give us the option to get sent here if, when the timer runs out. Just saying, hey, you ran out of time, but I'm giving you one last chance, so that's what that's for. Okay, so that's all we did. Set up 45 seconds, put a no thanks timeout URL and a checkout payment URL. If I wasn't so talkative, it would probably take about 10 seconds. Go ahead and publish that. And we're going to view the page. And here we go. We've got this beautiful countdown here. It says the offer expires in and has the countdown. You can go up to 60 minutes on this, which is pretty awesome for sales pages. Um, I wouldn't normally go that long. Once it hits 30 seconds, as you can see, that slides down. And this slides up, says better hurry. Just kind of a reminder that, uh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still counting down, and you're still running out of time. So you better take advantage of this offer now while you can. Um, so after this times out, something special is going to happen. If uh, if you don't have the second chance on, it will simply redirect them to whatever you said is your no thanks or timeout URL. And if you have the second chance enabled, this pops up. This allows you to basically, you know, even if they go to the page and then walk away without paying attention, when they come back, they've got this. Okay, so they can already see they ran out of time. They they more or less would have missed the offer if it weren't for your generosity of the second chance. Um, but of course, this is completely optional. But basically, it says, hey, this is your last chance. You will not be able to access this offer again once you leave the page. You can click OK to claim the offer or cancel to leave forever. So basically, if we hit cancel, it would take us to the uh, no thanks or timeout URL. And uh, we set that as yahoo.com. And remember, I said if you want to claim the offer, the checkout or success URL, um, to paypal.com. So in theory, if I'm a good little developer, uh, when I hit OK, it should take us to PayPal. And indeed, it does. So that's how it works. Um, very simple, very straightforward, but it's super versatile because, one, it, it doesn't have any you know solid verbiage on it that keeps you from using it in one situation uh, or another so you can use it for virtually anything that you're offering a customer that they uh, you know might want to actually take advantage of and uh, gives them that that extra nudge that is the part that I tested with sore thumb on the back end and saw over 90 percent conversion rate when I tested that um, that wasn't a huge pull I tested it with but it was um, it was it was pretty big and the reason I didn't test it that that much with it is because um, I didn't really want to let the cat out of the bag because I wasn't quite ready to release yet so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last part of conversion cartel which is dime sale domination um, this is a new way to do dime sales actually it's the logical way to do dime sales but um, they've they don't work this way for some reason until now um, Basically, a dime sale is there to make pressure by, you know, the price going up and the number of available copies going down. The price is raising. There's three left for this much. There's two left for this much. And then the price goes up and you're like, oh my gosh, I, you know, the price is going up so fast. But the problem is that if you're not sitting there refreshing the page, you would never know that. So, you know, it basically uh, relies on failure first to actually increase much urgency uh, beyond what it already shows because let's be honest with you um, how many times have you seen an offer that said hey there's only 27 left of 100 and then you come back a week later and guess what there's still 27 left of 100 and the offer I thought it expired a week ago but it it expires at midnight again tonight right so we're used to seeing that it doesn't uh, it doesn't really jolt us that much and it, it should, if it's real, more often than not, it's not. I'm going to show you that it's real with dime sale domination by doing what a dime sale should have always done to begin with. And that is actually show you the price raising as it's raising. Okay, so I'm going to show you in similar fashion how easy it is to set one of these puppies up. All we need to do is jump over to JBZoo or Warrior Plus and grab our buy button code. So we'll just click in here, make sure you're on the HTML version, select that code for the button you want to use and copy it. Hop back over to the page that you want to add this on. 
And uh, on this one, we'll call it Domination. Dime sales done right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've got that set up. Now all we have to do is slide on down to the uh, Dime Sale Domination box on the page of the post. Click Enable Auto Updating Dime Sale Mode. And uh, from the button code that we got from JVZoo or Warrior Plus, we will simply paste that in here to the Buy Button Code box. I prefer the fade button pretty much across the board. It seems to work the best. Um, and it's it's very very pretty looking. Um, so we'll just click on the fade there. So all we need to do now is add the uh, buy button placeholder into our post so that it knows where to put the buy button. And you can have more than one. You can put as many as you want on one page. But um, all you need to do is click this little button here and this will insert the buy button for you and you've got a nice little placeholder here so you can see exactly where it's at I like to know where things are at in the post that I'm working on in my what you see is what you get editor so that's what I've done you have a placeholder so you know exactly where the button is on the page and um, it you know keeps your layout similar to what it will actually look like when you're done so all we need to do is is uh, update or publish the post now and we will view the page and like magic we have our buy button here where our placeholder is at and you're about to see what happens as it updates it's checking the price now and uh, if any have been sold or if any or if the price has risen at all it will reflect here and it's really awesome um, I actually have uh, some demo of it some live demo which I will insert down here into the bottom of the video with some movie magic um, and uh, basically this is a, a product that I have that um, it's pretty much only one I have on a live dime sale uh, at the moment but it's an older product so it's not moving very quickly at this point um, but the the point is is that this is a dime sale that makes sense what a dime sale should do it actually increases urgency and increases pressure on your visitors to buy um, as they see the price going up without relying on the failure of them first leaving the page and then coming back or refreshing the page which I don't know why you would do that anyway this allows you to take full advantage of what dime sales have to offer and it really helps to increase your conversion rates now of these three tools the first one you can obviously use anywhere for anything the third one here, which I'm showing you now, Dime Sale Domination, makes the most sense for, you know, people who are selling things, obviously, on JVZoo or Warrior Plus. And it does work with both JVZoo and Warrior Plus button codes. Um, however, the second part, which I showed you, the pressurizer, I really want you to challenge yourself and think of some creative ways you can use it that have nothing to do with product creation if you uh, if you do product launches if you sell products online um, through warrior plus or jvzoo hey man use the heck out of it that's why I built it but I also try to build my products to be as versatile as possible so um, I want you to be able to use it for virtually anything and that's how it uh, it was built so you know, think outside the box. You can find a million and one uses for both the first and second part. And uh, as a bonus, if you are a product creator, product launcher, product seller through JVZ or Warrior Plus, Dime Sale Domination kicks some serious booty. So if you have any questions for me, please drop them down into the thread for me. I'd be happy to answer any of those for you. And uh, hope to see you on the other side. Have a great day.